Hello everyone. So today is May 15th, 2020 and it would have been my graduation ceremony but in light of the COVID-19 epidemic our school postponed the graduation which I have no issues with. Shout out to South Florida Bible College, wonderful institution. I'm proud to have been a student there and a working um, professional there um, but I'm just so happy i'm rejoicing in my heart and in my soul my soul has indicted in a good matter i am blessing god that may 15th 2020 i have received my master's degree in theology in the area of biblical studies hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus glory hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah I bless God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Because if it was not the will of God, I would not be here. I would not have even gotten the opportunity to attend the school that I am currently still at because I intend God's will to get a second master's, the Lord's willing. I keep saying it's the Lord's will. And I'm just so happy. I'm so happy that the Lord has turned my life around and I was able to successfully complete my degree. I remember there was a time when I didn't know that I would have graduated because my GPA was so low and I'm not ashamed to talk about it. Um, I don't feel any embarrassment. Nobody can come for me or do anything. Like Nobody's perfect. And I actually only failed two classes out of all of the classes that I took. And it wasn't that I didn't do my work. I just didn't turn in the final papers for the class. And each paper is like 40% of the class, so I fail the class naturally. And there were times when I couldn't write. I couldn't write. I'm a writer, and I couldn't write. Like, I was stuck. And I just could not produce papers. I even had one paper overdue for semesters. And my professors were super, super lenient with me. And upon turning in my paper, I got a 90%. And for one of them, I got 100% glory. Hallelujah. God is good to me. I cannot complain. And the reason why I want to just big up God on this day that I would have been walking on that stage to receive my master's degree in theology is because my heart was not set on theology. Let me tell you a quick story. I am 29 years old, single, no man, up in my ear telling me, baby, I love you and you need to go lose some weight. I am free. I don't need to shave nothing for nobody. Ain't got to wash nobody clothes. Ain't got to cook for nobody. Ain't got nobody making me loose up in here. And I'm talking about my heart, loosen my heart or anything. So I'm just so happy that at this age, I have the drive to go to school. <laughs> I love school, but I never thought that I would end up at a Bible college. I was supposed to already by now, in my mind, what I was planning at the time, you see, you see, a girl had dreams, honey child. I wanted to be married to an Italian, six foot four, black hair, green eyes, bro, shit, what? I was supposed to be with an Italian, had seven sons, and all of them, the one would be named Fabio, Marcelo, Andrea, Romano, Cristiano, all of them would have footballer names, and they would all be soccer players. That's what I wanted, honey. And I wanted a nice home, an Italian villa, and my dream car, an X5. And I wanted to be a sports journalist. And I said, that's my dream. And I'm going to be the first black Jamaican woman to cover international soccer. That's what I wanted to do. And I was getting there. Most of the people who know me know I speak a plethora of languages that I had never fully mastered. But so that was Korean. That's the only one that I have somewhat of a little bit of fluency in and as I said I planned my life I planned it I think I still have that little diary somewhere right here well, I've got a woman bro no I have my diary that I had from when I was in I think high school and I wrote down all of my dreams in it all of my dreams in it everything that I wanted to accomplish 
and I set out to accomplish all those things. And I remember one day in church, we were in youth fellowship, and the question was asked, what do you want to do, or where do you see yourself in five to 10 years? And I said, I stood up in church and I said, within five to 10 years, I was 19 at the time. So I'm sorry, right, within five to 10 years, I'm gonna be 23, 24. I'm gonna be married to an Italian man. I'm gonna already have seven kids. <laughs> I don't know where I would have, how I thought I would have gotten the time in three, four years to make seven kids. You know how hard it is to make one? I saw this video of a woman giving birth. I, I got lightheaded and I passed out on my bed. I passed out, passed out on the bed. See the woman giving birth. So how she do it? How did she do it? Where did the baby come from? Thing went from this to this. The head came out. <laughs> I, I got lightheaded. I was like, I ain't doing that. I'm not. I'm not pushing out no baby. Talking about. So I had all these dreams and God just turned my life around. And I remember when I finished my bachelor degree in English at Florida International University, God said to me, pray for me to put you on somebody's heart. I'm like, God, why? Explain to me why. Because God always comes to me and says, do this. I'm like, God, you know I have nothing to do with my life, apparently, which is why you keep telling me what to do. Because I ain't got no plans, right? I just sit down with nothing to do. And I'm like, I don't know. And there started my journey applying to teach at South Florida Bible College for one year, just to gain experience after I studied. And the Lord literally showed me that his will was for me to attend there as a student. So when I went there as a student, I didn't like it at first. I'm just going to be honest. I hated it. I hated being at a Bible college. Because I'm like, this is not what I want to do. This is not what I trained myself for. Nobody leaves a top tier university and go to some little Bible college to do theology. Nobody does that. So I was so sad. I was so sad. I'm like, this is not what I want to do. 